I'm going to show you how to tie a double Windsor tie knot. First, to get started, you're going to take the shirt, you can tighten the top button. Okay, you're going to flip open the collar just like you do with every tie knot. Okay, you're going to take the necktie, place it around your neck, and you want to let the broad end hang down much lower, especially with a double Windsor tie knot. This is important because this knot is going to take a lot of extra length to tie this knot. Okay, so you're going to take the tie, you place the broad end of the tie over the narrow end to create the V in the neck area. Okay, you're going to pinch this area with two fingers just to hold it in place. Then you're going to take the broad end of the tie, you're going to loop it through the V, and pull it back down. Okay, make it slightly tighten it to hold it in place. Do the same thing on the other side. Now this creates the double Windsor. You have two wrappings, one on each side, and it causes the knot to be very symmetrical. Okay, that's why it's so popular. Okay, you're going to take the tie, you're going to go behind the V, back through the V, and you slightly pull it tight, just like you did on the other side. Now, if you have had problems tying the double Windsor tie knot, it could be because you had a gap in between these two wrappings. What that will do is the tie will slip into this into this gap and the knot just doesn't look right. You know, it looks a little funny. You can actually see the back side of the tie. So to avoid this, a little trick here is to actually pull it in the second wrapping, pull the tie down to avoid this gap. Okay? Then you're going to take the broad end of the tie again, throw it over the unfinished knot. You're going to create a little loop here. And then take it the time, go through the beam, and back through the loop. Okay, you're going to tighten the tie knot. It's already taken shape. Okay. Then we're going to adjust the tie knot to the collar. Flip down the collar. All right, just check it in the mirror, ideally. Make sure it sits right. And you're already done. Now the double Windsor tie knot is a, is a larger tie knot. It's a very symmetrical tie knot and it's a perfect knot for a shirt with a wider collar spread. That's why I picked this today. The shirt has a very widespread collar and yeah with a little bit of practice you should be able to master this knot.